Good evening. My name is Nash McQuarters and I serve as the Senior Ministry Counselor for Tulsa Community College. Over the past five years, I've been able to help and encourage students to continue their education at TCC. Over the years, I've met with students who had their whole life planned out and knew exactly what they wanted to do, as well as others who were still about, unsure about what they wanted to do after high school. I want to open up and introduce you to two students, William and Jacqueline. Both are seniors in high school and like every other Oklahoma teen, want to move out of state and go to college. However, those plans changed when they welcomed a new baby into their world just months before graduation. They knew that out-of-state school was expensive, especially when co-parenting a newborn, so they had to make a decision. Did they want to forget the possibilities of college and work full-time to support their child? Or did they want to attend college knowing that it would be a struggle financially? I was able to sit with the two of them and let them know about a program that TCC has called Tulsa Achieves where if they graduate high school with a certain GPA or higher, live in Tulsa County, and volunteer 40 hours per year, that they could attend TCC tuition and fees free. After a little bit of discussion, William and Jacqueline jumped on the idea of being able to attend college with little to no cost out of pocket, easing the burden of paying for college, which is, let's face it, a struggle. To all of my educators out there, how many good students have you seen stop attending due to financial reasons? It happens a lot. However, this program is geared towards removing that barrier. I share this story with you to show that tuition-free college changes a community. There has been a lot of political debates about the cost of education, so I wanted to highlight the Tulsa Chiefs program and how it has changed our community and how it could change yours too. Tulsa Chiefs was founded in 2007 by the then TCC president, Dr. Tom McKeon, and the then city of Tulsa mayor, Kathy Taylor. They worked with Tim Fernandez, who still serves as the program's director, to coordinate guidelines for the program. Since 2007, there have been 15,847 students who have benefited from the program. Yeah. Changing our community. One way that it has changed our community is that the number of 25-year-olds are older in Tulsa County with an associate degree or higher has increased by 2.6%, while the number of 18 to 24 year olds in Tulsa County with an associate degree or higher has increased by 4%. This is important because it changes our community economically and socially, which I'll explain a little bit later. So how does a program like Tulsa Achieves work? Well, there are three key facts that help TCC and the County of Tulsa maintain this program. One, funding. Two, education. Three, a better community, which TCC has always strived for. The first key fact that I want to address is funding. We have to find a way to pay for it. Tulsa Chiefs is funded through appropriated property taxes. When a citizen lives in Tulsa County, they pay on a property tax, and a portion of that goes towards the Tulsa Chiefs program. That's why there is a requirement that the student must live in Tulsa County. Since 2007, the Tulsa Chiefs program has been granted approximately $44 million. This shows that we, as a community, are invested in our children's future. The second key fact that I want to address is education, the reason that we're all here. We not only want to increase the access of students being able to attend and afford college, but we want to make sure that they are persisting and finishing. That's why it was mandated that all Tulsa Chiefs students, also known as TA students, must meet with an advisor every semester before they enroll in classes, as well as take a freshman orientation course sometime within their first year at TCC. The success of TA students has been so strong that the college is now looking at making every student, TA or non-TA, practice the same requirements. For example, Tulsa Chief students have a fall to spring persistence rate of 83%, compared to non-Tulsa Chief students who have a fall to spring persistence rate of 67%. When it comes to fall to fall persistence, 58% of Tulsa Chief students continue to their second year at TCC, while only 41% of non-TA students continue their second year here. One reason that persistence rates for Tulsa Chief students are so much higher is because the issue of paying for college is no longer there. 
And because our students are taking that freshman orientation course that I mentioned earlier, where they are learning how to communicate with the professor, about the study techniques, time management skills, and about the resources we offer on campus, they are also getting higher GPAs compared to students who are not in the program and are not required to take their class. But not only are our students persisting and passing at higher rates, they are also finishing at higher rates. Our research and assessment team looked at a few cohorts or classes and saw that TA students have a 10% higher rate of graduating compared to students who are not in the program. This is important because more graduates equals better jobs. Better jobs equals better income. Better income equals happier citizens, healthier citizens and citizens able to give back to the community. One thing that T Tulsa, uh, TCC takes pride in is our diversity. It's one of our core values. So we value our students being able to gain diverse experiences in the classroom, on the campus, and in the community. At TCC, students are able to interact with populations of students they may have never met before. A student from a high income family is able to work on a sociology project with a student who lives below the poverty line. A student from a private Christian school is able to learn from a student who attended a Muslim school and vice versa. These are all ways our students can mature and prepare for a world where there are numerous cultures and points of view. It, takes, it teaches our students, our future leaders, the importance of communication, peace, and understanding. And as I mentioned earlier, all of our TA students are required to do 40 hours of community service each year that they are in the program. This is how we pay the community back, the county back, for its funding. Since 2007, Tulsa Chiefs students have contributed over 529,000 hours of community service and have in, uh, added $10.2 million in value to the Tulsa area, changing our community. This all leads me to my third key fact of a better community. It is our goal that through the Tulsa Chiefs program, the county of Tulsa becomes stronger economically, larger, and more diverse. One way to do that is by keeping our graduates here in Tulsa. TA graduates are able to transfer to a number of institutions across the nation, but a good portion of them continue their studies in Tulsa. TA graduates are eligible for scholarships ranging from $1,000 to $8,000 to transfer to other schools within the city of Tulsa. When a graduate continues to live in Tulsa, they are contributing to the city. That means more money for businesses, retail, restaurants, and more citizens paying on the property tax, which in turn means a stronger Tulsa Chiefs program in the future. To add to the fact that tuition-free college changes a community, the financial growth in Tulsa has all also increased. 25-year-olds and older are making an average of $10,000 more than they were before the TA program began while our 18 to 24 year olds, our young adults, are making an average of $8,000 more. Once again, showing that tuition-free college changes a community. <laughs> I want to take you back. Remember those two students that we talked about earlier, William and Jacqueline? Well, both took advantage of the Tulsa Chiefs program and are now in their second semester at TCC. William finished his first semester with a 3.0 GPA, while Jacqueline finished hers with a 3.54 as a new mother. I love being able to witness their growth. They went from scared high school students wondering, is college for me? What's next? Can I afford it? Is TCC for me? To now being active uh, members of our college community who even help out with recruitment initiatives. I'm glad to see that TCC believes in them as well as the other 15,845 students who have been in the program. I close with one question for you. What could a similar program do for your community, your future leaders, your high school students who don't see college as a viable option? Thank you. Have a good day.